Here we are, we're dealing with chapter 4 of the audiobook. I'm going to share my personal story of how I've transitioned. And it will help you as you're listening that there may be things that you're going through the similar experience or even different experience, but you'll be able to pick up some of the things that can be of value to you. So I've been a professional, you know, I prided myself as a professional, I started working and yeah, I've been moving from one position to the next in the HR space and I liked it because, you know, I moved, I worked for big corporations and I also worked for small companies because at times, you know, what you get in big corporations, you don't get in small companies. So part of my journey was to get more as more information as I could. I've been in academia to consolidate my theoretical part of it. And then I moved into consulting and I enjoyed the consulting space as well because I was working with different different people, different clients, and then I also moved within uh, organizations where I was an internal consultant, so I loved those spaces. And you know, over the years, I've always, in the back of my mind, I knew that I wanted to have my own consulting firm. But you know, as you're moving up the ladder, you are enjoying yourself, you're loving what you're doing, it was, you know, back in the back of my mind. I never even thought about it. Yes, the company was there it was operational but i was not actively involved in it and then as i was going through my career you know you reach a stage where you feel you are at a peak of your career you know i was loving my job i was working on projects that were so productive i loved it it was making a difference to my clients and you know things happen one day i went to work in the morning and then when I came back, I didn't have a job. I was retrenched. At first, I didn't think much about it because everything happened so quickly, you know, because one day I was at work and then the next day I didn't even have to go back to work. And at the time I decided, you know what? I've always wanted to have a holiday. So I took really two months. I did nothing because it was towards the end of the year. So it was good. The timing was good for me. So I took time off and I missed people that I, I didn't uh, visit. I used that time to visit. I used the time to reconnect with what I wanted to do. It was all good. And then the festive ended. Then everybody was going back to work. Then it struck me that, you know what? You actually don't have plan B, you don't have plan C, you don't have plans, plan Z. And in that period, the company was there. The company was registered. It was not active. Then I had to wake up one morning and realize that, you know what? If you continue the way you're doing, nothing is going to change. That's when I sat down and I started thinking about what do I need to do? And at that period, I realized that, you know what? There's a lot of things that I needed to do, which at first I didn't think about them. When I left my job at that time, I didn't even have a plan or anything that I was going to do. And then as I was sitting down, I started reflecting on those three months, you know, what I've been doing and I needed to start focusing on something else and I had to start. That's where my transition uh, journey became real. Because before it was just, you know, you visiting people, you, you keeping yourself busy. And that's what most people do. You keep yourself busy rather than dealing with the issue at hand. So as I sat down, that's when I started really to address the issues, the uncomfortableness that came with not being able to work, not knowing what the next day will look like, not knowing, you know, how will I put food on the table. That's when I then started step by step thinking, 
if I was going to work, what would have happened? You have to do something, you have to have tasks, you have to have plans, you have to have a vision, you have to have all those things. And at first, when I started that process, it was not as clear cut as I'm putting it now. But it was just the thinking, the reflection that helped me to get to the stage where I could write something down and say, this is what I want to do with my life. And transition became the focus of my consulting because I realized that it may not be a job, but somebody is going through transition in a relationship a friend. Somebody is going through a transition where somebody is not well. Is going through a transition where there's promotion. So, as I indicated, it doesn't matter whether it's a positive or a negative thing. All of those things require you to be enabled in the journey. So, part of what I did, I got myself a transition coach who journeyed with me in that whole process. So the person was helping me, guiding me, making me see that there is possibilities regardless of where I was finding themselves. My coach kept on pushing me to say, Sylvia, there's more out there, there's opportunities, there's things that you can strive for. And before I knew it, it was three months later, I, had, I was clear in terms of what I wanted to do. And as they say it, when you're ready, the universe of God will, will come and help you to deal with the, the things that you needed. So suddenly the resources were available and then the clients, people were calling, you know, wanting to come and get the services that we were offering. So we started with the assessments, the coaching, the mentoring, the team intervention. So those are the things that really helped me to get out of that stage where I was able to transition effectively and with me being able to transition I was able to impart that to other people and I'm glad that now there's a lot of people who are really benefiting from the interventions that we're doing from a transition perspective so you may be sitting there and you're thinking I'm not too sure if I really can afford this. We actually have different packages that can help you in your journey from where you are at. We also have the network that I spoke about earlier. That network is an entry space where you can be able to start your journey, where you can engage with other people. Because at times when you're sitting there alone, you're thinking, I'm the only one going through this. But when you're sitting with other people, you realize that there's a lot of other challenges that people are experiencing. And as people experience, they overcome. And you will be in that space where you are enabled, where you are supported, where you are guided to be an overcome. So join us in this, in the network, also in the coaching, the different interventions that we are providing because it's going to make a difference in your life and you will impact the people around you. We thank you. We'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.